Hey everyone, I'm Ken Whiting with Paddle Tales, and today we're going to talk about sea kayaks versus wreck kayaks. Before we get started though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and check out the Paddle Tales series. It's a series that takes us to some of the most amazing destinations in the world and goes on cool paddling adventures along the way. There's a link in the description box where you can, you can check it out. Now, sea kayaks and wreck kayaks. They're used sometimes interchangeably, but they are different paddle crafts and they do require some different skills to use. What's the difference? Well, a sea kayak is typically a kayak between 15 to 18 feet in length. You know, they're very, that's very rough. Um, they're designed to have small cockpits so that a skirt can be used with them to keep the water out. This lets you paddle in rougher, water uh, without the kayak swamping. They're, they tend to be long, narrow, and fast. A wreck kayak, on the other hand, tends to be between 9 feet and 15 feet. Shorter, but squatter. They're wider. That makes them a whole lot more stable, and they're not designed for, the, for traveling at the same speed, covering the same time, type of distance, or for the same type of rough water. So, let's talk real quick about the pros and cons of both. A sea kayak, as I was saying, it's designed for speed. It, it'll cover a lot of ground and it'll cover a lot of ground quickly. Uh, it is better for multi-day trips than a wreck kayak because there's a lot of storage space in the bow section and the stern section which are accessible by uh, hatches in the deck. Uh, Sea kayaks also are divided into three sections. You have a bow section, a stern section, and the cockpit. Now, the cockpit is where you sit. Right behind the seat, there's a bulkhead, which is basically just a wall inside the kayak that separates the stern section. And then just ahead of your feet, the foot pegs in the kayak, there's another bulkhead to separate the, the bow section of the kayak. And the reason that's important is because if you do end up swimming, capsizing and pulling your skirt and swimming in any type of body of water, only the cockpit floods or gets swamped. You, your, uh, your ends, your bow and your stern compartments remain full of air and the flotation for your kayak. So you can, then with training, you learn uh, rescue, uh, on water rescue uh, techniques. You can do self-rescue techniques where you actually get in the kayak yourself or assisted rescues where someone helps you get back in you pump the water out of your cockpit area put your skirt back on and you're ready to go that really isn't an option with a wreck kayak um, because of that extra space in the bow and stern lots of room for storing gear makes it better for multi-day trips and tandem sea kayaks usually have a center um, compartment too, a, a big center hatch between the two paddlers which has tons of space for gear. You can actually put a third person in there as well. The other thing sea kayaks have that wreck kayaks usually don't is rudders or skegs. Now they don't all have rudders, rudders or skegs but a lot of them do and rudders or skegs help you steer, control the kayak, especially in windy conditions. Sea kayaks also are available in a variety of materials. You can get a sea kayak in fiberglass or carbon uh, weave, uh, high performance materials that make them much lighter, much, which is, makes them much easier to carry, and, uh, and much stiffer, higher performance. So what about wreck kayaks? What makes a wreck kayak a wreck kayak? Well, as I was mentioning before, it, they're between 9 and 15 feet in length. They're, they tend to be much wider and much more stable, much more user-friendly than sea kayaks. As a general rule, you don't need specific instruction to paddle a wreck kayak, but you do have to understand its limitations. Without specific instruction on, on rescue techniques, you really shouldn't paddle a wreck kayak further from shore than you can comfortably swim. You have to assume that if you flip, you might need to swim yourself to shore without the kayak and, and get some help and, or have a friend, because you shouldn't be paddling alone, um, tow the boat to shore where you then gather the pieces and empty the water and get back in. Um, 
rack kayaks are available in both sit on top and sit inside styles. Sit on top, very self-explanatory. You sit on top of the kayak, your legs are exposed. Uh, I like to think of them as floating docks that you can paddle. You can fall off or get off, you can get back in from the water, very easy. Great for, for kids, great for people who just want to, to paddle around without having to worry about flipping. The sit inside rec kayaks are wider and equally stable. They tend to have some type of a cockpit where your legs go in. The cockpits tend to be a lot bigger than sea kayaks, so you don't feel that same, you're not, don't, you don't feel as confined as you do in a sea kayak. Um, the cost of that is less control. Sea kayak has much more control. Feels like, a uh, sea kayak like fits like a good pair of shoes where uh, a rec sit inside kayak is more like a, a pair of rubber boots. You know, not high performance. You're not gonna run any kind of a race with, or you're not gonna do any race with a, with a rec kayak. The other major benefit of rec kayaks is that they're extremely comfortable because you have these, this wide platform, your legs have more room to move. The sitting position can often be changed. You can move from a low position to a high position. They have lounge seats in the, in the nicer rec kayak models. Uh, rec kayaks can also be customized with things like cup holders, rod holders, um, you know, if kayak anglers put fish finders on them. There's storage uh, in the back. You could put a cooler. There's a lot of space to put ge bring gear along as well as pets, <laughs> uh, family members. They're definitely, I mean, they're, recre they're for recreational use. Whereas sea kayaks or touring kayaks are designed for more so for uh, accomplishing a paddling mission. So in general, sea kayaks longer, narrower, faster can handle almost any type of water but require some expertise to paddle because they're not as stable. Rec kayaks available in a wide assortment. They're shorter, they're fatter, wider, more stable, can be totally customized, are designed for comfort and for accessibility. Uh, and um, they have limitations, which is you need to stay closer to shore. You, they're not designed for rough water. You need to accept the fact that you have to stay in sheltered waters. So there you go. Uh, the rundown between sea kayaks, otherwise referred to as touring kayaks, and wreck kayaks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. Check out one of the Paddle Tales episodes down below. We're just about to go on a cool sea kayaking adventure in the Thousand Islands. And um, we'll see you soon for another paddling tip.